Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. I'm here at Coaster with the Scott Brothers, Jonathan and Drew. And I'm just going to casually sit here. And oh. we've removed all of the throwable objects so there will be no pelting of the interviewer. Oh, yes. This has happened. This happened. We have to change things up from time to time. It's actually the two guys in the background. They're the ones who are going to be throwing things. They are always trouble, those guys. <laughs> you know, you got to have one troublemaker at least in every crowd. There, there you go. So I, we're sitting in front of all new furniture. Tell us a little bit about what you brought to market this time. You know, we listen to the consumer, and we, we have heard such amazing feedback when it comes to our, our modular sofas, when it comes to our live edge tables. Uh, people are loving the direction that we're taking the brand in. So we've given everybody a little bit more of the stuff that they've been asking for, as well as a little bit of stuff to push the boundaries. It's so exciting for us to be able to continue to develop our tastemaker as well. That gives a little bit more that polished feel and then to have pieces that actually integrate overlap from each of our collections it's making design accessible and easy for everybody I love that so we've been meeting with some of our biggest buyers and they've been saying that the response from their customers has just been wait I can afford this wait this is I see this on property brothers and I can have this and that's the reaction we like and people just using the hashtag Scott living so that we can engage with them online give me an example of a piece that you kind of tried to push the envelope a little bit, take your customers to a place that um, you want to take them. Well, in prime example, right behind you, seeing the joinery work on some of the, the pieces. We have our tables as well that you can see the big, big butterfly joints. Um, you know, some that might be a little bit much for some people. We just put one of those into an episode of Property Brothers, and I'm telling you, the reaction on our homeowner's faces, they, they, first of all, they didn't think they had any style, and now that they see this, they're like, we're going to have parties nonstop on this. I like seeing that people who maybe don't have the confidence that they can push the envelope when they trust our brand and they let us do it for them, all of a sudden, they're on board. I mean, the big thing for us that's exciting is that Scott Living is just expanding massively and, and globally as well. I mean, it's basically whole home solutions. We have all new categories that we're, that we're entering uh, just to be able to give everybody absolutely everything they can possibly want when they're trying to do a new design for their home. Uh, what we basically want is we have this vision that you know, there's a bit of a disconnect between what people see and they're inspired on our shows and then their ability to go out and pull the trigger and buy it. So what we want is we want to bridge that gap and have those whole home solutions so that even if someone says, I love those hardwood floors or I love the tile, all of that is going to be available through Scott Living. Now, you mentioned right, going global. Your show's been on in Australia even longer here. I had no idea you could speak Australian. Right. <laughs> well, it's all about the, the dragging out the ass. Our show was just canceled in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we, we are in over 150 countries, which is exciting. We're dubbed into a lot of local languages. Uh, but the amazing thing is, you know, some people may say, well, I don't know, will, will the style that we see here in North America really translate? You should see the following we have in Asia, in Australia, in Latin America. It's amazing. Now, are you also starting to integrate as you do these new categories? Are you going to start to integrate those into the shows as well? 100%. 100%. We already are. In fact, we had one of our Live Edge tables we just revealed on the new Property Brother episode we filmed yesterday. So it's exciting to see more and more of the uh, Scott Living products. So they just got a scoop that that's going to be on a show that hasn't aired yet, right? Ah, it has not scoop. aired yet. We there you go. We just broke news right here. There's a lot of exciting stuff there. You know, being that we're a co-viewing experience too, mom, uh, dad, kids, everybody loves the show. We may have a very exciting thing in the kids space coming up. That's like a double scoop. You guys you just got a secondary scoop. Double scoop, what does it mean? Yeah, keep an eye out for that. So we'll be talking a little bit more about that late summer. But uh, kids space. Very exciting, very exciting. Now, I, I heard that you do magic tricks. I do, yeah. You want to see magic tricks? Yeah, I do. Here. Uh, what, I, I can do... As long as it doesn't go. involve somebody throwing, throwing something. something. No, yeah. this is it. This is... You didn't know you were going to get a show and an interview. So this is the thing. Most people don't trust twins or magicians or anybody, but I say, keep an eye on that. Wherever it goes, you just keep an eye on it. You took your eyes away, so it could be... I'm pointing at it. I'm not cheating, but you think okay. I am cheating. But the trick is, if you don't keep your eye on people, hey, it's like the furniture industry. If you don't keep an eye on your manufacturer, <laughs> you want to make sure uh, that you keep an eye on it, because then, actually, we'll just pull it out here. Whoa! Fact, this is the easiest thing in the world, and then it's, oh, it's actually gone. I didn't even feel that come out. He'll be here all day. Yeah. Um, I prefer when he pulls quarters out because then you yeah. can just kind of save up a little bit and buy one money. of our tables. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I don't have to save up a lot because your tables are affordable. That's right. That's a good point. You know? I'm glad you brought that up. And I, I, I will say a little inside scoop. When we have our conversations about what we want to bring to style, there's a lot of thing that we've no things that we've noticed some manufacturers will really charge a premium fee for when in reality on the manufacturing side, it's a, it's a manufacturing decision that doesn't necessarily cost a lot more money. So there's a lot of things that we will add and we'll say, you, you know what? 
if we can build it better quality and better style, but not have to bring that price up on the, on the consumer side, then we're going to do that. And that's why you see a lot more um, affordable pricing on some of our products because we're, we're passing that savings through to the consumer. You're getting that elevated style, but you're not having to break the bank again. Thanks so much, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you.